Hello, and welcome to the Cisco Email Security Series Updates. This video will cover specifically the Single Log Line SLL feature. Traditionally, our customers use message tracking to track and look for specific events. However, the huge number of logs and email events to analyze keeps growing, and organizations would like to consolidate all events for an email transaction into a single log line. This way, they are able to consume those events in a third-party scene product for a better analysis. In order to address such concerns, the Cisco Email Security Solution, with its new Async OS 13.0, allows an administrator the ability to create a new log subscription that consolidates all events in a single log line. These can contain chosen headers for the message details, such as mail from, friendly from, sender's domain, recipients, message ID, also verdict information, anti-spam, antivirus, outbreak filters, AMP information, but also the message final actions to apply. Common event format, CEPH, RFC 3164, is a standardized syslog format for logging and auditing. Since it's relatively simple to generate and parse, it reduces this consumption and allows for faster indexing on top of being transport independent and the preferred log format for many seams to ingest those same logs. On top of it, the Cisco Email Security Solution also supports Amazon S3, simple storage service, offered by AWS, Amazon Web Services, making it that much easier and secure to export and consume the logs simply by placing them into an S3 bucket that the customer team can securely and easily read from. This how-to video will demonstrate how to create a new Ceph log subscription that consolidates all events for an email transaction into a single log line for an easy and secure export to a third-party SIM, in this case, Splunk. Now we need to create a collector for the logs coming from the ESA. Go to Settings, Data Inputs, add a new TCP, Configure the port as 514. That is the port our log subscription listens to. Leave the rest at default values. Click Next. Let's change the source type. Miscellaneous. Generic single line. Leave the rest at default values. Click Review. Click Submit. In the meantime, let's go to the ESA, navigate to System Administration, Log Subscriptions, and let's add Log Subscription. Select the log type as Consolidated Events Logs. Choose a log name. On the log fields, there's several log fields you can choose. Just select the ones you like. Add them. Scroll down. In the retrieval method, choose syslog push. There's several options like AWS S3 as well. Choose the appropriate host name. And then click Submit. It's now time to do a log searching in Splunk and make sure the Ceph log fields are populated appropriately in the search results. So we go to Search and Reporting. Under What to Search, Data Summary and we'll see the events that account for the search parameters. And we can click in the right column an icon to expand a specific event. One of the main differences with using syslog to parse and build reporting based on multiple line events is that you need to leverage add-on applications or plugins that allow for some sort of integration with sims. Now with Ceph formatted log event, one can natively produce reports by simply adding them into a widget dashboard. Let's try it out. On the left pane of Splunk, we can search for a specific field, anti-spam verdict, top values, 
A bar chart appears for the top values in terms of ESA anti-spam verdicts found. We can hover over bar charts and change the charts to a pie, for instance. We can also save the search as dashboard panel. Select dashboard panel, ESA1 dashboard anti-spam status, for example. View dashboard and the dashboard is shown. I do hope you find this video useful. Thank you so much for watching.